So Omerker's at it again. He is at it again. And for some reason does not know when to stop. I'm going to show you guys why in a minute. But first, background. Omerker was part of the Vanoss crew, I want to say, for a good amount of years. And then a few of them found out that he is an extremely toxic person. As you will come to find out in the messages that I'm about to show you after someone after a guy named Ritz unfollowed him. Um Yeah. Oh the way you took this unfollowing is very toxic behavior, bro. This is not a year ago I had spoken on the Delirious ohm record situation over on my TikTok account. Um, it got to the point where I had to upload it on Twitter, so I think Team Star could see it, because I also mentioned that he looked, he was like taking Ohm's side, because that's how it sounded. So, to the point where he actually made a video response on all four parts of it. Yes, they are still on my Twitter. If you can go find it. I will show you guys. Here's. I want to show you guys the messages on why Ohm is at it again. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. This is why he's at it again. This right here is why he's at it again. So, Umrecker needs extensive therapy. All this over unfollowing him, bro. No one talks about you because you aren't anyone's actual friend. This is not a normal response to being unfollowed. Don't care. You wanted to keep this between us. Go get fucking therapy. There's a thread. Ah. <laughs> hey, Rez's response. Mission pass plus respect plus. The fact he's still going dies from cringe. The fact that he's still trying to be relevant even after last year. All right. So we're going to unravel these tweets. Hopefully we get somewhere with them. You guys ready? Let's start reading. Well, I just saw you unfollowed me, Ritz. I have to say I'm disappointed in you. I was not always nothing but kind to you. Supported you during your challenges in life and even pushed back in a few instances where others expressed negativity about your personality and or the fact you were open about autism. Just honestly surprised considering all our past discussions, I thought we were on better terms than that. I didn't, I don't know what Kool-Aid someone has you drinking. Probably Max, Beth, Diction, and the other oddly obsessed and paranoid haters slash Kiwi farmers. But I can assure you whatever it is clearly... You're being misinformed and dragged into their obsessive, paranoid hate. Yet you're the one that said that they're drinking some sort of Kool-Aid, which is term for someone has you and has manipulated you. No, he's not being... Ritz isn't being manipulated, Ohm. He's thinking for himself, and this is your response? Let's keep reading. I honestly... Would have thought you'd have enough respect to talk to me about it. Regardless, I've seen enough gross, scummy behavior in this industry at this point to not be quite as suppressed as I once was. Just didn't expect it from you, especially after I put my career and reputation online to help victims last year. You did not help victims last year. They weren't even victims. All right, let's go back to the delirious situation that Ohm had. Um, Ohm accused delirious of... Um, having a private video call with a minor, which turned sexual and... This was from many years ago, by the way. And he blames Delirious for it. Problem is, basically came out saying that it was all a prank on Delirious, that he and I think Kyler 
both had pranked Delirious and Delirious didn't find it funny. He didn't know the age of the girl. And they even admitted that Delirious still hasn't forgiven them fully for what had happened. Which is expected after an incident like that would occur. But they were able to move on from it. Delirious isn't some sort of pedophile. I'm don't, not going to say the actual word in case YouTube decides to take this video down. Um, let's read the rest of it, shall we? <laughs> but yeah, you didn't help victims. You just, before I read the rest of it, you didn't help any victims. There were no victims. Delirious was the victim in this situation. At the end of the day, he's still friends with basically and everyone else that was involved in said prank. Um, yeah, you, and you just brought people on that said, and just said they were victims. Chances are you just messaged them on Twitter saying, get in this discord call. You're going to be a victim of delirious. That's all this. That's all we're thinking really is that there are no victims and that you just made up victims just to feel like you're right. To say that you're in the right. If you were in the right, the Van Os crew would still be playing games with you and not Delirious. There's a reason they're still playing with Delirious and not your ass. Anyway, let's continue. Best of luck to you in life, and I hope in time you become aware of the toxic people you are surrounding yourself with. You mean like you, Ohm? Because this is a toxic reply to being unfollowed. This is a toxic response. I'll unfollow as well. Take care, man. And because I know you're networked with weirdos that share slash gossip constantly, and you may very well entertain the same feed in their paranoia pursuit of validation, I'd prefer you didn't, and that this stay between us, then why didn't it stay between you? All you should have said was, just ask him, hey, why do you unfollow me? And that would be it. You didn't have to go through this whole fucking toxic ass paragraphs of shit. I only saw you unfollowing me because I was looking through my follow list to find a friend at least. Friend at NVIDIA. I don't know how to pronounce that whole thing. To DM given they are about to announce something big. I don't know when you unfollowed me, but that's how I saw it tonight. Just find it super odd of them just because it's in line with their typical methods of character assassination in retaliation over their years-long paranoia over the Vanos crew inviting me to things, but not them. There's a reason they don't invite you to things anymore, Om. Maybe one day ask those weirdos how they continue to watch so I see my tweets when they're either blocked or not following me before they accuse me of always watching everything Guessing you never knew about Diction's gross decade of long obsession stalking such stalking of DSPV of Kiwi Farmers or Chilled and Boogie among other people according to information that was shared with me. What information? Everyone just shares bullshit with you and you believe it. I, I have a feeling that oh. I have a feeling that the information you get shared is just straight bullshit people trying to fuck with you. Because you have no info on this shit. Oh, by the way, Tyler, congratulations on this. This video is not about you, but still, congratulations. Yeah, like, oh, you're almost 40. You're almost 40, Ohm. Fucking act like it. I'm 21, and I act more mature than you. How does that make you feel? I can take criticism. For some reason, you can't. 
when someone unfollows me, I move on with my life. They move on with theirs, I move on with mine. I don't have to go on a fucking res- fucking tirade in their DMs. Like, talking shit about their friends saying they're toxic. Because, oh, this response is toxic behavior. It is toxic behavior. If you weren't toxic, all you would have asked was, why'd you unfollow me? That would have been it. That's all you would need to say. You would have just had to ask, why'd you unfollow me? If you got a response, there you go. If you didn't, just move on. Just move on. It's not that complicated, Ohm. You're pushing 40. You tried ruining Delirious' family life. You tried ruining him and his family. Because you think he's a... He's something that he's not. Oh, you need to fucking move on. The world does not revolve around you. If someone unfollows you, fuck it. Just move on. It's not a big fucking deal. You don't have to go on a tirade on their DMs. Um, I'm going to leave with this. Treat people the way you would like to be treated. Because if you want to be treated, if you want to treat people like a piece of shit, expect to be treated like a piece of shit. Expect that. I've learned that over the years. If I want someone to be my friend, I have to treat them like a friend. If I want someone to respect me, I have to respect them back. That's how the world works, though. If you're going to act like a piece of shit, no one's going to want to associate with you. Because you're acting like a toxic piece of shit. End of story. This world does not revolve around just you. You don't own, you're not the president. You don't own the world. You're not king of the world. You're one man. One 40-year-old man that's trying to ruin other people's lives because you don't have one yourself. You know how I know you don't have a life? is because you do shit like this. You do shit. You do shit like this. Like this. Oh. Um. All you have to do is move on. You wouldn't be in this scenario if you had just moved on. You also wouldn't be in this scenario if you treated people 
the way you wanted to be treated. You want to be treated with respect or treat other people with respect. You want... You want to be someone's friend? You want someone to treat you like a friend? Then you got to treat them like a friend. Don't spew off all this toxic negative hate. For no reason. No reason. This has been Matthew Hilton. I will see you guys in a bit.